today we are going to review how to use the Transflow Mobile Plus app. You need to go to either the Google Play or the iTunes store on your phone to download it. Make sure that you download the Transflow Mobile Plus app. Okay, once you have the app downloaded on your phone, this is what it will look like. Go ahead and click on the app to open it. You will come to a screen that looks like this. Um, you should see the Decker Truck Line logo at the top. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you can go into account settings. And where it says modern style skin, go ahead and click on that button to switch over to the new style of the app. And hit your back arrow at the top and that will take you to our latest version of this mobile app. You can see at the very top of the screen, there's an icon with a person silhouette and a gear icon. If you click on that, that'll take you into your settings. If we go back to the home screen, there is an icon with nine tiles right next to it, and if you click on that icon, that will take you into all the different tiles, basically all the different menu options that you have for our Transflow mobile app. On the front page of the app, you can see three bubbles across the top. Uh, the chat bubble on the left, if you click on that, it will take you into your Qualcomm messages, basically. So anything that is sent from Decker or from Dispatch to your Qualcomm will also show up on your mobile app, and that's what these messages are. So any dispatch information, any messages from your dispatcher, anything from night dispatch um, will come across and show up here in your chat bubble. At the bottom of the screen, you have an option to send a message into dispatch. So you can just type that in and hit the send button and then that'll come into your dispatcher. If I hit the back arrow at the top, we can go back to the main screen. The next bubble you will see on the front page is a weather bubble. The weather bubble will tell you the current conditions for where you are at based on your GPS. And if you click on that bubble, it'll take you into that location. It shows you the map for the location you're currently at if you click on the temperature that it's displaying, it will give you the forecast for that location for the next three days. And I'll hit the arrow back to go back to the map and then back one more to go to the main menu. Uh, the first, you can see there's five menu options in the middle of the screen. The first option is loads. If I click on that, it will go in and show me load information if my dispatcher has planned me on a load. If I click on the pre-plan option, it'll show me load information. It shows me my pickup and delivery location. And then there's a little arrow on the right of the screen. If I click on that, it'll take me to another screen that gives me additional information about my load. It shows pickup time, delivery time, it gives any additional carrier instructions, anything else that you might need about that load information. And if you click on the map view at the top, it'll just take you to a map and show you the locations of your load based on the, the map view. So from the map view, if we click the back button at the top left, we go back to our load information and at the top you can see the stops button. If you click on the stops, it'll show you all of the stops listed. Now this example just has a pickup and a delivery, but if there were additional stops on this load, they would be listed in between there also. So I'm gonna hit the back button at the top of the screen again. And there's also a scan button up at the top um, that will take you into your scan documents. So again, it gives you the option to either take a picture of your document or to add an existing picture if you've already taken one of your document. Um, once you do that, it'll give you the option to add the load number and your truck number to the scan, and then you'll also have to select the correct dock type before you send it in. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to scan in paperwork. And anywhere that you see the little printer icon for scanning, you can access the scanning option from there. So whether that's in your load information or there's a scanner icon on the pre-plan screen, you can click on that. It'll take you into the scanning options. Or again, if you're on the very front screen and you go into scan documents um, in the bubble, you can click on that and it'll take you to scan documents. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to scan a document. I'm going to select take photo. And all I do is go ahead and take a picture of my document. And I will say use photo. And then the system will give you the option to crop your photo however you need to. So you can use the bubbles to move it in to crop your document. I'm finished cropping, so now I'm going to hit next. And then the system just looks at it to make sure that it's optimized, that you can read it OK. If you need to lighten or darken the image at all, there's options at the bottom of the screen to do so. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and hit accept on the top right. And now it's going to give me my document type list. So I can go through the list and see which document type I need to choose for this. And I will choose Bill of Lading 02. Once I've selected the correct doc type, I can see it is listed under my scan documents. If I wanted to scan another document, I could. I could go ahead and click on Take Photo again and take another picture. Click on Use Photo. Um, sometimes the system will automatically do the cropping for you, but if it doesn't, you can use the blue buttons to crop it. The next thing that we are going to look at from the front screen of the app is the Settlements option. So if you click on the Settlements menu option and then click on the Settlements icon again, it's going to take you in and it'll show you a listing of all of your settlement sheets. If you click on the PDF button, it will display a copy of your settlement sheet. And you can zoom in to look at it and get more detail. We'll go back to the main menu here. And the next option is the safety menu. So if we click on safety, we can see here there's six different options in here. Report accident, report OSD, safety documents, the infinity training videos, smart drive, and the ELD DOT quick guide. So if we click on report accident, first you will get a screen that says, that gives you instructions on what to do at the scene of an accident. If you click on call 911, the red box in the middle, it will dial 911. If you click on the yellow box that says call Decker hotline, it will call the Decker safety department. Otherwise, you can click next at the top of the screen and it gives you the opportunity to take photos, accident photos that you can then send in to the safety department. So if I click the back button at the top of the screen, I can go back and also uh, if we click on the report OSD tile, we can see something very similar to the report accident tile where it gives you instructions on the information that you need to have before you call in your OSD claim. If you click on the yellow box in the middle, again, it'll put you in touch with our safety department to give them information about the OSD. If you click next at the top of the screen, it'll give you the opportunity to take pictures that can be sent in to our safety department. I will hit back. Um, there's the safety documents option that takes you to our safety announcements and articles and then the infinity training button just takes you to the infinity training website where you can enter your username and password to log in to do some of your infinity training uh, your quarterly safety trainings that have to be done there's the smart drive icon which takes you to the website for the smart drive uh, login information. You can enter your information and go into smart drive. I will hit the back button 
Um, and then there's the ELD DOT Quick Guide. Um, this is just the reference card that can help you um, get information about the ELD uh, driver cab card. This can be something that can be shown to officers also if you need to. I will go back to the main menu. The next option, uh, menu option on the main screen is send driver referral. So just a reminder that we do have bonus programs in place if you refer another driver to Decker. So if you click on the send driver referral button, it'll give you some fields to fill out, uh, your Decker driver ID, the driver referral name, the driver referral phone number, and the e email address for the driver. Go ahead and fill all that information in and hit next at the top, and that information will come into our recruiting department. The next option we will look at is the driver scorecard from the main menu. So if we click on that, this will take you in um, and display your most current driver scorecard. Um, it'll show you each of the KPIs that you're scored on and your score for each one of those. And then it'll take you, if you scroll to the bottom, it'll show you your total score for that month. Now I'm back at the home screen again. There are two buttons at the bottom of the screen. On the left, one says dashboard, which just is the current view that we are looking at. But the other one says notifications. So if I click on the notifications button at the bottom of the screen, you can see the menu options in the middle changed. So this is just displaying your notifications in the middle. Basically, these notifications are dispatch, dispatches that you have received or scanned documents. Um, these are the confirmation numbers for the scanned documents that you have scanned into the system. The next option we will look at is the microphone icon at the bottom of the page in the circle. And if you click on that, you can use voice commands with the app. And I will show you that now. Read my messages. Getting messages. You have no unread messages. This displays that I have no unread messages, but if you did have a message, it would read it back to you. The next thing we're going to look at are all the options in the tile icon. So if I click on the tile icon in the top right of the screen, we can see all of the options in here with all the different tiles. The new IMTH on tile is just a video um, from Don Decker. So you can click on that and go in and watch that video. It brings me a lot of pride to, uh, to talk to people. The next icon is the loads icon. And one thing you'll notice about this app is that there are multiple ways to get into the same screen. So if you click on the loads tile, it's the same thing as the loads option from the main menu screen. So we'll go back here. The messaging tile, again, is the same thing as the chat bubble. This option gives you chat with dispatch tile, where again, it gives you all of your Qualcomm information that has been sent to your Qualcomm is also sent to your mobile app. And at the bottom of the screen, again, you can type in a message and send it to dispatch. It also gives a form to fill out if you want to request some days off. Now this request days off form does not guarantee that you will get the days off, but it's just a message into your dis dispatcher to ask for the days off. The next tile is request directions. If you click on that, you can enter in what stop number you need directions for. So if I needed directions for stop 01, I would type that in and click send and it would send that in to dispatch and I would get my directions back for my stop. The next tile is safety. Again, this is the same thing as the safety menu option from the main menu. The next tile is company videos, which has many different video options in here and you can select each tile. The maintenance videos have different maintenance videos for you to watch. Safety videos, same thing. And miscellaneous videos would be anything additional that we've added for you to watch. The Decker announcement tile will take you to the web page or a web page to show you different announcements. 
The next tile is driver scorecard. Again, if you click on that, it will display your most recent driver scorecard scores. The next tile is the Decker driver portal, which we are currently not using, but that will be something to come in the future. The DTL webpage, if you click on that tile, that will take you directly to our Decker website. The send driver referral tile is the same as the main menu option where you can send in a driver referral to recruiting. The next option is breakdown. This acts very much the same as the report OSD or report accident. So if I click on report a breakdown, it's going to give you some instructions to start with. And then you can click next at the top of the screen and fill out some information about the breakdown. And once you fill out that information and click next again, you're able to take pictures to send in to breakdown as well. If you only need to send breakdown photos to breakdown, then you can click the break, click on the breakdown photo only tile, and that will give you the option to take pictures and send those into the breakdown group. The next tile we have is the settlements tile, and if we click on that, it's the same thing as the settlements menu option on the first on the main menu screen. The tools icon just gives you an option to scan documents again or your to-do list and the to-do list has to do with safety endorsements so it'll tell you when your CDL needs to be renewed when your MVR is due and then when your physical is due also the next tile is the my pilot fuel app and if you click on that tile it's going to take you to the app store to download that app or it will launch the app if you already have it download it on your phone. This app is separate from the Transflow mobile app. You have to sign up for a, an account separate from your Transflow app to be able to access that uh, My Pilot Fuel app. The next tile is the Way My Truck app from CatScales. Again, this is another one. If you click on the tile, it'll take you to that app if you have it. But again, it is just separate from the Transflow app. This is just a way to be able to access it. The next tile is the weather tile, which is the same as the weather button from the main menu. The next tile is the on-demand tile, which is not a tile that we are currently using. The next tile says find, and if you click on that, it just shows you different Transflow stations on the map. We are not currently using truck stop scanning for from Transflow. The next tile is the chat tile. Again, that is your dispatch um, information, your Qualcomm messages that come in from dispatch. Uh, you have a scan documents icon. Again, just gives you the opportunity to scan documents. And then your account settings icon at the bottom, which again just shows your account settings where you can switch between the different styles of app um, and switch your user information. Maybe if you update your email, you can go in here and change your email address and then click save. Thank you for watching this informational video. We hope this better explains the new interface of our Transflow mobile app. If you have questions, please reach out to the Transflow helpline at 813-386-2327.